Here we go, welcome. What I want to do is show you how to simplify this lovely rational expression. It's lovely, isn't it? So what we have here is 7r squared minus 67r minus 30 divided by 3r plus 6 divided by 21r squared plus 65r plus 24 divided by 9r squared plus 42r plus 48. All right. So before we even get caught up in all this stuff, let's just go back through and remember a couple things that we have about knowing about fractions. When I want to multiply two fractions, I simply just multiply the numerators across and the denominators. So in this example, I would get 3 over 8. However, a lot of times when we're dividing fractions, let's say I want to divide 3 fifths um, divided by uh, 1 fourth. All right, when we divide fractions, well, we can't divide by a fraction, so a lot of times what we say is we get the fraction off the bottom by multiplying by its reciprocal. So in the same way, I could write 3 divided by 5 divided by 1 fourth. What we do is we like to flip our divisor or change it to a reciprocal of our divisor and then multiply across. Because when, when you multiply your denominator on top and bottom, that goes to 1, and then you multiply across, so you get 12 over 5. All right, so that's the one quick little thing to remember when you're dividing fractions, you can reciprocate them and then multiply across. So automatically, before I even start looking at this problem, because I see some pretty big numbers, I know that to simplify this, I'm going to want to reciprocate my divisor and multiply. So I'm going to rewrite the whole problem. Actually, yes, I'm going to rewrite the whole problem. And then I'm going to change it to a multiplication and then reciprocate the divisor. All right, so now that we've changed it, I now need to go ahead and determine how am I going to multiply this across? Yes, we can simply go ahead and multiply and then multiply across. However, that's a big trinomial times another trinomial. And then I can multiply this across by that. And then, remember, whenever we're looking at fractions, we always want to look to simplify something. Well, once I multiply that, I'm going to get some pretty big numbers. And it might be a little difficult to simplify. So before we even go and multiply across, it's always helpful to see what can I maybe simplify this? How can I you know, break this down before I multiply across? By factoring. So since this is a trinomial, we know we can see, can I factor this into two different binomials? And the answer is yes. As you go ahead and take a look at this, when you factor it, remember you want to figure out what two numbers are going to multiply to give you 7, but then also multiply to give you negative 30, where they add up to give you your middle term, negative 67r. And I kind of did my factoring before this because I don't want this video to run over too long. So what I determined when I factored this is I wrote this was 7r plus 3, and then r minus 10. Because 7r times r is 7r squared. 3 times negative 10 is negative 30. And then 3 times r and 7r minus 10 added together gives you 67r. Well, over that to my 3r plus 6, I have that going on. All right. So then we multiply that by, again, these three trinom two trinomials. And again, we want to see, can we factor them out? So again, I rewrite it and see, can I factor this out into two binomials? Now, you do notice I can factor this out by divisor 3. And that would probably be the easiest way I'd do first. However, what I, noted, what I just noticed when working through this problem is it's okay if you don't factor it out because um, actually how this problem works is we're going to get a divisor that will, or we're going to get a factor that is, um, we can actually not plug, if we factor out a 3, we're actually going to want to multiply that 3 back when we eliminate. And you'll see exactly what I'm talking about here in a second. So when factoring out my numerator, I ended up getting, getting, 3y plus 6 times 3y plus 8. And then on the denominator, by factoring this out, I get 3r plus 8 times, that's a, not a y, that's an r. And that's an r. I don't know where my y's are coming from. And then 3y plus 8 times 7r plus 3. So what I noticed, what I was trying to tell you is, um, this, you could factor a 3 out of the 3r and the 6 up top there, um, but that's not really going to help you out because you want to see that when you multiply this across, these actually are going to cancel out. So even if you factor out a 3, you'd want to multiply it back out to get that binomial. As you see that these cancel out, well, a 3r plus 8 divided by 3r plus 8, that also goes to 1. And then you notice when you multiply these over, you're going to have a 7r plus 3 
um, divided by 7r plus 3 also goes to 1, or as we say, cancels out. Therefore, my final answer is I'm only left with the expression r minus 10. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you simplify a rational expression by dividing. Thanks.